Hello and welcome to another episode of HVAC system design tutorial with the channel of the world of building design. So in this tutorial I would like to talk with you a little bit about the coils and understanding the efficiency of the coil and the term that is called the bypass factor of a coil um, which is a very important element in the selection of the uh, heating and cooling coils. So when we say bypass factor in the coil, we basically mean the, um, the volume of the air that is bypassed from the coil. And normally the, the smaller the bypass factor is, the more efficient the coil is. And now uh, we're going to review how we have to calculate the bypass factor and, and uh, how it's related to the efficiency of the coil. And after that, I will show you very quickly how uh, this um, you know this kind of calculation is applied in the carrier hap software. Uh, this is a very uh, detailed topic. We can't get through this uh, only in this session. We're just going to uh, introduce this uh, the the parameters of bypass factor of a coil. So I'm gonna just show you the uh, the term here. So the equation that governs the bypass factor of a coil is basically the temperature or dry bulb temperature of the air after the coil or uh, downstream of the coil. That temperature minus the apparatus dew point of, uh, or temperature of the dew point on the coil surface or basically the temperature of the coil at which uh, it's a dew point temperature uh, divided by temperature of the air upstream of the coil or at the inlet side of the coil. Again, minus the temperature, apparatus uh, dew point temperature uh, on the coil surface. So on the coil surface, uh, when the air enters uh, into the coil surface, specifically in the cooling coils, uh, what happens is that a portion of the air starts to um, condensate and um, on the surface of the coal the temperature uh, is where you have a mixture of the air and the water vapor uh, where the temperature is uh, dew point temperature meaning the dry bulb and wet bulb temperature are equal on the surface of the coil where you see the condensation happens and that's the apparatus dew point temperature that we are referring to. Uh, so Basically, in any condition, uh, if you have temperature of inlet, temperature of outlet of the coil, as well as the apparatus dew point, you can calculate your bypass factor. And uh, when you uh, deduct the bypass factor uh, from one, you can get the coil efficiency, as you can see here. So let's look at an example here. So if we have uh, a coil, so let's find the, the coil fi uh, efficiency and bypass factor when the inlet temperature of the coil is 83.2 dry bulb temperature. And remember that this 83.2, if you're dealing with the air handling unit, you have a mixture of the outdoor air and the return air from the space. So when you have a mixture, you're sending the mixture of air into the cooling coil. And um, the temperature on the, out, on the air uh, at the coil outlet side is after you treat the air and condition it is 58.3 uh, degree Fahrenheit dry bulb. And the apparatus dew point temperature uh, in our case on the coil surface is 55.5. So remember that this is a kind of information you get from the manufacturer or coil manufacturer uh, catalog uh, in terms of uh, based on the geometry of the coil, based on the uh, number of uh, wall fins and number of um, uh, pipes in the coil. You can read that from the manufacturer's site to see what the uh, apparatus dew point on that coil would be. And Based on that, as you can see, we can calculate uh, the bypass factor to be equal to 0.1. And then this uh, results of a coil efficiency of 90%. So 
and put it in a perspective into uh, Carrier Hub software and how this, uh, um, you know, the fundamentals um, around what we discussed is applied in the Carrier Hub software. I can show that to you very quickly. So I have just determined uh, a space. This is just arbitrarily for an example or for, for the review purpose. Uh, I haven't completed this as a design. This is just for us to know, um, you know, how this, um, you know, this components and the um, relationship of this equation works. So I just considered a space like a gym at 20,000 square feet. Uh, I have uh, determined uh, like, you know, the height and the building, um, building um, footprint. Um, I put some additional information in terms of the wall, uh, grass, uh, grass area, and uh, and completed this as a space. And then I created on the system level air handling units serving this space. And when I completed the scheduling and everything on a high level, on the system component, if you come to the central cooling side. Our supply air is going to be 56 degree Fahrenheit. And as you can see, the coil bypass factor, this is the same coil bypass factor I just mentioned. Uh, so I consider this or I assume this to be 0.1 uh, of the coil bypass factor. And then based on that, and the maximum supply air temperature of 75 degree Fahrenheit in the cooling mode, I calculated everything and then I want to see uh, or review the design parameters here. I just keep this check marked as is. I just go in the preview section just to see the report quickly. So as you can see, just let me highlight this here. Before we look at this, I want to show you the uh, psychrometric chart here for the cooling mode. As you can see, we have point number one, which is our outdoor air. And then we have point number, uh, point number uh, four, which is our basically supply fan and uh, point number two, which is our return. So basically uh, our room return, which is number five, and as you can see here, you see this dash line here. I'm just going to, okay, I, I can't uh, make this larger. So if you look at this little orange dash line between number one and five, that's basically the outdoor air temperature and five being the return air or room air temperature. And somewhere on this line in between, you have your mixed air temperature, which is number two. That depends on the ratio of the air. And when you get that number, which is very easy to calculate, uh, and you extend that all the way to a part of dew point temperature of the coil that we talked about on the dew point line on the psychrometric chart, uh, then you can also calculate your uh, supply fan outlet, which is number four in here, as you can see. So your central cooling coil outlet and supply fan outlet are these two number three and four. So let's go back to here. So as you can see, the entering dry bulb temperature is 83.2, leaving dry bulb temperature is 58.2 and then our coil apparatus dew point temperature at 55.5 as per the example I showed you and then the bypass factor is 0.1 so remember if you select the equipment or a coil you can go to the manufacturer and find out the type of uh, bypass factor you're considering and that's going to help you to determine what is the uh, leaving dry bulb temperature would, would be achieved through your coil uh, so we can continue on this topic. Uh, I just wanted to bring this up. Uh, this is uh, one of those um, you know areas that, uh, as HVAC system designer, you need to 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 know and understand how to calculate uh, 
uh, and uh, it will help you for selection of the, the coil. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please uh, go ahead and subscribe in this channel. And uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.